Today's lesson is on slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. So in our warm up, we first start off with the idea of what a reciprocal is. If we have a fraction a over b, then its reciprocal is just flipping that fraction b over a. So we're going to apply that a principle here. If 2 is something we want to find its reciprocal of, we make it a fraction 2 over 1 and flip that to make it 1 over 2. The reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. The reciprocal of 1 third is 3, and the reciprocal of negative 5 ninths is negative 9 fifths. Just flip the fraction. Using the slope formula between two points, we review how to find that number by using the difference in the y's and the difference in the x's, the ratio of the change in y over the change in x. So here, a couple of examples using coordinate points show us that the first example in the number four is a negative one third slope. The example in number five is a positive two slope. And example in number six is a one fifth positive slope. Dividing a negative by a negative is always positive. So the slope formula is good, but when we have a graph, we can use rise over run to really get us the slope. So we pick two points on a line such as these two points and count the rise here negative two and the run three, negative two over three. On the green line, we find that the slope is, well, identical, negative two over three. So what do you notice about the slopes of line A and B? They are the same. These lines are parallel. Another example of this, picking two points on the line, the rise is four, the run is four. So a rise over run is four over four or equal to one. For the purple line, we find two over two is also equal to one, so the slope of both of these lines is one. They are equal to each other. So conclusion that we can draw from this is that what do you call lines which never intersect? We call them parallel lines. And the slope of such parallel lines are equal. Another way to say this is parallel lines have the same slope. So the next thing that we're going to look at is the graph of perpendicular lines. Perpendicular means that they intersect at 90 degree angles. Using the slope formula, we're going to, or rise over run when we have a graph, we can look at the slope of two lines and compare them. So in the green line here, it has a rise downward of negative four and a run of six, reducing that to negative two thirds, rise over run. For the blue line, we get a rise over run of three halves. We notice that the slopes of these lines both, well, first they have different signs, one's negative, one's positive, different signs. We also notice that these fractions are reciprocals of each other, that is, flipped fractions of each other. Therefore, we would say that these lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other, the negative being the sign change and the reciprocal being the flipping of the fraction. Another example to illustrate this. So using the red line, we find a rise of negative one and a run of three, so a negative one third slope. The purple line gives us a slope of three over one, positive three over one, or just three. And they have opposite signs. They are reciprocals of each other. They are negative reciprocals of each other. Therefore, these slopes are perpendicular slopes. these lines are perpendicular, they form right angles, or 90 degree angles. And we indicate that with a little box. So in conclusion, what do you call lines that intersect at 90 degree angles? We call them perpendicular. And their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. They have different signs and they're flipped fractions of each other. In example three, we want to graph a parallel line that passes through a particular point. Noticing that the equation of the line given is y equals two x plus one, the slope is two. The m value, or the number in front of x, is two. So a parallel line will have the same slope as this one, meaning that it'll ha also have a slope of two. Parallel lines have the same slope, 
a slope of two is the line that we want. So a slope of two is the same thing as saying a rise over run of two over one. So using the point that we want it to pass through, which is negative two, negative three, we rise two and run one a couple of times to plot a few points. And that allows us to graph a line through those points, which will be parallel to the first one. Perpendicular is not any much different than the ones we just did, except perpendicular means lines that intersect at a 90 degree angle. So their slopes will be obviously different and not the same. Step one would be to find out what the slope of the given line is, and looking at the number in front of x, we find that the slope is one half. The m value is one half. Step two is to identify its negative reciprocal. So we change its sign to negative, and we flip it as a fraction, two over one. So we're gonna get a slope of negative two over one. So they have different signs and the reciprocals of each other, therefore I know these lines will be perpendicular. So using the point that we want it to go through, we use this rise over run, a down two rise, negative two, a run one a couple of times to plot a few points and we are able to graph a line which will be perpendicular or at a right angle to the one given. These lines form a right angle, therefore they're perpendicular. To summarize what we've done, let's provide some examples of parallel and perpendicular lines. So since parallel lines use the same slope, I plot two points and using a particular slope for those lines, I do the same thing somewhere else on my graph and the lines, since they have the same slope, are parallel. For perpendicular, I graph two points, make a line between them, and then note what their slope is. Then I use the negative reciprocal slope to plot some other points and I create a perpendicular line. This is something best understood through practice. So in the following table, we're gonna fill in some things quickly. If a line is parallel, it will have the same slope. If it's a line in a perpendicular, it will have the negative reciprocal slope. So using the slope of the line given, we're gonna fill in the blanks. If the slope of the line is one half, parallel line will also be one half and the negative reciprocal is negative two over one. If the slope is negative five, a parallel line will be negative five slope and it's positive one over five is its negative reciprocal. Undefined slope is a vertical line, so the parallel line to that will also be undefined, but the opposite of that would be a horizontal line that has a slope of zero. So horizontal lines have a slope of zero. They're considered the negative reciprocal of undefined. And the opposite is also true. If the slope is zero, the negative reciprocal is undefined. A couple more examples here. Parallel lines have the same slope. Negative reciprocals are for perpendicular lines. So to summarize, we have parallel lines that have the same slope we have perpendicular lines that have negative reciprocal slopes. And a way to check that is that if you multiply the two perpendicular slopes, you'll always get negative one as an answer. For example, if I had a slope line of one half, its negative reciprocal would be, let's say negative two over one. And if I multiply them together, I'd get negative one. So that's just one way to check if your two slopes are in fact perpendicular. Multiply them together and see if they equal negative one. So last but not least, uh, we're gonna take a look at what the homework problems are for the set. And if you are looking, I believe it's on page 38 in your booklet, it says day six slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines homework. And there's a few problems, maybe eight or nine for you to practice. Good luck and stay tuned. <laughs>